currently he's studying Hivs under Sheikh Awaldin. His passions are he loves listening to various reciters and lectures by Mufti Ismail Mink. I almost thought he said I love listening to music. I would have changed this whole thing now. Inspirations are his dad, his grandfather, Sheikh Awaldin, Sheikh Ibrahim Gabriel, and most certainly Mufti Ismail Mink. His dreams, completing his studying in Medina and becoming the Imam of the Haram, which is uh, possible for anyone. Big round of applause for Mufti Mini Mink. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Wa salatu wa salamu ala al-maba'uth wa rahmatan lil alamin. Nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa attabi'in. Wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsanin ila yawmiddin wa ba'd. We commence by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Blessings and salutations upon our Master Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam His entire household, all his companions May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala bless each and every one of us Amen. My dear brothers and sisters Today I will be speaking about a very serious topic A topic that we all should condemn Today I will be speaking about bullying Now bullying is emotional and physical acts performed by a bully. A bully is a person who uses strength or words to harm others. Now bullying takes place all over the world, in every school, amongst every group of friends. And bullying ranges from physical acts to emotional acts and mental acts. And no matter how small the act is, if it hurts you, it's bullying. Physical bullying is when a bully hits you, kicks you, punches you, or beats you up. And emotional bullying is name calling, insulting, even spreading rumors and backbiting about you. In my personal opinion, my dear brothers and sisters, I feel that emotional bullying is much more traumatizing than physical bullying. I saw emotional trauma my friends, my peers went through. Every other day there was a fight in school, a physical fight. People used to call you a name. Every corner of the school you go to. My dear brothers and sisters, wounds heal, but the memories don't. A broken arm can heal over a few months, but how long does it take for a broken heart to heal? And this is the reality, my dear brothers and sisters. Every school you go to, you will find bullies. And my dear brothers and sisters, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Wallahu la yuhibbu al-zalimeen. Allah does not like the oppressors. And bullying is a form of oppression, my dear brothers and sisters. And to this day, my parents tell me that I'm Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. And I know they only tell this to me, because to make me stronger, to, re to re make me realize that the words that come out of a bully's mouth, I must not take that to heart. But I know it's hard. There are kids out there that are being bullied on a daily basis. They will rather be hurt by thousands of sticks and thousands of stones than to hear one more nasty word aimed at them. My dear brothers and sisters, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. And then let me touch on one of the most the one of the worst forms of bullying, cyberbullying. How many of us are on Instagram? How many of us are on Facebook? How many of us are on Twitter? There are anonymous names such as Kitty Kit123. <laughs> and then you get suddenly a DM on Instagram insulting you. And you are going to feel bad. But you don't know, you can't do anything because it's cyberbullying. My dear brothers and sisters, let us all be careful. And my teachers used to teach, uh, teach me in school that a bully is a big, ugly, lonely loser yearning for attention. But did we ever think, why is a bully a bully? 
My dear parents, my dear parents, talk to your children. As a 12 year old boy, I am in school. I, can, I saw bullying when I was at school. You are not with us in school. You don't see the bullies there. But do you think a child or your daughter or your son is being bullied or is he the bully? Now, my dear parents, you're going to go home today or tonight or this afternoon and you're going to go sit with your child and you're going to talk to him, ask him a question. My dear son, how is school? My dear daughter, My dear daughter, what are you going through at school? And maybe the bully that is bullying the other little innocent children, maybe he went through emotional trauma during his life. Do you know that? No. Because you don't talk to your, your children. My dear brothers and sisters, let Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us reunite in the Jannah with the, with the words in our mouth, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, until we meet again, wa sallallahu wa sallam, wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad, subhanallah wa ta'ala, ashadu an la ilaha illa anta, wa astaghfiruka, wa atubu ilayhi. Thank you, Buxin. I have a few questions for him. Okay. Here's the question. How old are your children now? <laughs> because you spoke about them and, and uh, I suppose, tell me why somewhere, I suppose. <laughs> so, the other thing that I find, there's only one difference between him and Mufti Meng, and that is he cannot grow a beard. We're going to try a medical procedure that might work. Okay. But I can take you to a costume store that they can actually mm, yeah. stick that on. I do it when I go to Johannesburg mm. sometimes. Um, but uh, but uh, we got uh, something interesting for you, and that's the ball. Okay. Um, and uh, I want to see you now, because where are we going to go with this one? No. But before I say that, I, I want to give you one line about the, the bullying aspect. And that was, I recently met the education department about the matter on TV around bullying. We looked at one aspect, and that was the bully was not the problem. Uh, at times um, in the way that you think the bully is a problem. You must understand when you see bullying happening, the bully itself needs to undergo therapy and psychological treatment because the reason for behavior is not the behavior itself, it's the problem that causes behavior. So behavior is not the problem, it's the underlying condition that causes the behavior that's a problem. And therefore if you see a child bullying somebody, don't get upset as a parent. Speak to the other parents and say, can we assist your child to get the appropriate help? Do you agree, uh, Muftisab? Yeah. Okay, you agree. 100%. <laughs>